Hey guys, happy Friday. Um, so I was cleaning out my fridge at home and I was like, well, what do I got? I had so many carrots. So I went ahead and peeled them and I was like, well, what can I go make with these? Um, so we're gonna do some experimenting today. We're gonna make um, a kind of carrot cake bread thing. So um, I'm gonna raid the pantry, see what we got and um, come back to you and tell you what you'll need. But you will want to go ahead, if you have the carrots um, at home, peel and then grate them with a box grater. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. All right, guys. So I grated my carrots. Um, so they're really finely grated. And I raided the pantry for some ingredients. So I'm going to call this experiment bread because I don't know if it's going to be good or bad. It could be good, could be bad. We'll see. Um, so I'm going to be using two cups of flour. Um, three quarters cups of sugar because I have about a cup of molasses here. Um, so we're gonna add that to it. I think that'll be nice um, with some ginger. I have about two teaspoons of ginger, um, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and then a quarter teaspoon of salt. I have half a cup of melted butter. Um, three eggs. I had three leftover eggs, so I'll just add them in. And then um, a half a cup of raisins. I dusted these with some flour, so that way when I put them into the bread, um, they'll kind of mix in and stay in their place. So let's get started here. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is mix my dry ingredients together. That is the sugar, the ginger, and the baking soda. Oh, and as you know, I've preheated my oven to 350, and um, I have my little bread pan here. It has um, some spray in it, so nothing will stick. Okay, so the dry ingredients are gonna mix up, so that way that salt, ginger, and um, baking soda is all evenly combined. Yeah, I love the smell of ginger. If you like ginger, I guess you could go ahead and add a little bit more. We'll see how this bread comes out. But ginger is one of my all-time favorite things. In fact, if I had the um, candied ginger, um, you know, that's like chewy, I would have cut that up and put it in instead of raisins. Um, okay, so this is nice, evenly mixed. It's time to do our wet ingredients. So we're gonna start by mixing together the sugar and the butter. Honestly, I probably should have used softened butter, but I didn't want to wait. I wanted to see how this would do. And then uh, the raisins are gonna be the last thing that we add in. So I'm gonna mix together the sugar and the butter. Now I'm gonna add the molasses. I'm just gonna use the rest of this because it's been sitting there and it needs to be used. It's so sticky. Don't get this on you. What's that saying about you catch more flies with molasses or something? I don't know. All right, ah, I don't wanna get this anyway. This stuff is literally stickier than glue. Makes a great dessert, but it's hard to clean up. We're gonna go ahead and put that in the All right, so I'm mixing the molasses in. It's sticking on everything. Now I'm gonna add in the carrots. The star of our experiment bread. I um, ended up only using three of the carrots and I had one for a snack. It was really good. But I mean, that was about two cups of carrots. I don't really see how I need more. All right, and now, looking like this. Hmm. Gonna add the eggs, the three eggs. Probably could get away with using only two. But again, I'm cleaning out the fridge, using what I got. And I mean, I feel like if I had only one A, like what am I gonna do with one A, right? Um, 
I guess I could make one boiled egg. <laughs> I guess there's a lot of things you can do with one egg, but I'm, I just don't want him to be lonely in the fridge. I'm gonna get my friend. All right, so now this is nice and wet. Um, it's actually a really pretty orange color. I hope that we can see the orange when we bake this. So we're gonna add our dry ingredients in three parts. So, like the banana bread, I don't think I wanna overmix this. Oh god though, we'll see. I might need to add more flour. Again, this is experiment bread. I'm just kinda of taking what I learned about making the banana bread, I made some adjustments to make the carrot experiment bread. Um, could be good, could be bad. But I mean, that's what bakers do, right? They kind of experiment with different flavors um, to make new things. I'm thankful for whoever invented chocolate cake. All right, my second batch. I really love this orange color. I really hope that when I bake it, come through. Man. Will this be good or will it be bad? I don't know. I guess I could call it chance bread too, like in Monopoly. Could be good, could be bad, that's the chance. But I'm telling you what, this smells really nice so far. And I'm using, I really enjoy using a spatula. Um, I think, that honestly, if I were to have just one kitchen tool, um, I would definitely have the spatula, because I literally use it for mixing, I use it when I cook, it's just so versatile. Oh yeah, this has come together. So I'm gonna incorporate this last bit of flour. I don't think I will need to add more flour. This is pretty, looking nice. so many in the back and this is kind of the experiment. Hopefully nobody is tricked to things that they're chocolate chips. That would be sad. I don't think chocolate chips would work in here, but who knows. There should be a okay, so now this is nice and mixed. I'm going to go ahead and add it into my little pan here. Mmm. I wish you guys could smell hot, but whoever invents smell a vision is going to be rich. So I'm putting this into my pan. Um, it's really a pretty orange color. It looks kind of like peanut butter, but um, it's not peanut butter. No nuts in here. If you're at home and you want to add some nuts, that probably would be good. Who knows? All right. Um, uh, since this is like the banana bread in texture, I'm going to go ahead and assume it's going to take um, probably like the 45 minutes to an hour that our banana bread took. So I'm going to throw this in the oven um, and then I will come back and check it out with you guys. Um, we're going to want to wait till the toothpick comes out clear. Hey guys, Miss Erin here. So uh, as you can see, my experiment bread is out of the oven. Um, I let it cool for a few minutes and now we're going to give it a little taste. So I'm going to cut into the bread. Um, it took just over an hour for this to bake. So let's see here. So you can see the steam coming off of this. It's a nice orange color inside. It smells really good, um, but, but let's give it a taste. All right, the gloves are coming off. Mm. It's really good. 
It's not too sweet. Um, you can taste the molasses, but it's really nice with the raisins too. And then you get a blast of ginger. Hmm. Not bad for an experiment. Um, if you guys think of any crazy concoctions, let me know. Um, so yeah, we just kind of kept like the main ingredients of the banana bread, but changed out the spices and the um, like the bananas. We added carrots instead. So um, yeah, if you guys make any crazy concoctions, let me know. Um, I like to try them myself. <laughs> Bye.